Hi, in this video I'm going to cover how to perform ranking using Power Query. Now, in Power Query, there's not really a ranking feature as opposed to some of the rank functions already inherent in Excel. So there's a couple ways you can rank. You can do a counting or what's called an ordinal rank. And in this case, whenever there's a tie, there are no duplicating numbers, right? You see you have, you have a 1, 2, 3, 4. We have our duplicating numbers here. We have our, tie, we have our duplicates here but there is no duplicating numbers. There's a rank function, and this is actually a deprecated rank function called rank. In later versions of Excel, they call it rank EQ, and they pretty much do the same thing. Whenever there is a duplicate, they are going to give it a tie, and it's going to be the number two, but you're gonna miss the later number. Number three is not gonna show up. It's called a one, two, two, four. It's called a standard competition rank. Now also in Excel, there is a rank.average function. You can see there's a rank.average function here. It's ranking this number out of all of this. Now, instead of giving it a two, it's going to decimalize it. It's gonna fractionalize, fractionalize it, and it's called a fractional rank. So you can see here it's a one, 2.5, 2.54. We have our example here, one, 2.5, 2.54. So I'll show you how to do some of these ranking using Power Query. In addition, there's some other ranking methods. Uh, one's called the modified competition. It's a one, three, three, four. So if there's a tie, it's not gonna use the two, it's gonna use the third numbers for the um, placement. And there's also something called a dense ranking. And it doesn't remove any numbers. It basically duplicates the ranking numbers. So you have a one, two, two, three in this example. So this would be a one, two, two, three. So I'll show you how to do each of these methods. I took my database table, this small table here, that's not sorted in any order, and we're gonna use this for our example. So let's do the first example, the ordinal rank. I have this table, I'm gonna put it into uh, Power Query, go under data, under get and transform, from table and range. This is actually a pretty simple query to turn into a rank. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna sort by quantity, and I will have that sort descending. So we have the largest numbers come first, and for city, we're gonna sort this ascending. And we have that in alphabetical order. And all we need to do is just add an index column. So we're gonna go, un go under add column, index column from one. So irrespective of any ties, it's going to not duplicate anything. It's just gonna do a straight count, one to 10. So I'll call this just the ordinal rank, ordinal rank. Press enter, close and load. Let's load it into our worksheet here. It's gonna ask me where I wanna put it, existing worksheet. Let's put it in cell J1. Click OK. And we have our rank. So it kind of matches this, one to 10. The first one is Bakersfield, 437, Lancaster, 178. We have our 427s here, two and two. And that is our ordinal rank. So how do we do our other rank function, our standard competition rank? Let's go back in into this particular query, right click, edit, or just double click it. And we're gonna change some things. Here, I don't need to delete all these steps because some of the steps are just gonna be repeating for the other ranking methods. This is just sourcing it from the table. This changes the type of cell. That's a number and that's a string. Uh, I do want to have the sorted rows there still. Let's see about add index. I think I wanted to keep add index. The only thing I wanted to delete is this rename columns. Delete that. I've added my index and I wanted to now group it. So I'm going to group by the quantity. Select the header there, right click and select group by. And I want to click advance because I want to have two columns here. We're going to group by quantity. The first column is going to be my standard rank column. Standard rank. And we are going to do the minimum of this index column because that's our ranking column. And we want to add an aggregation. This is going to be, I'll just call it all. And I want to bring back all the rows here. So I want to, I don't want to do any aggregation. I just want to have all the rows return. Click OK. And now you see we have this table here. We also have our standard rank table here. And in this rank where it had two, you notice that there's two rows on it. 427, 427. So that's going to repeat twice once I expand this table. So if I click on these, this double headed arrow to expand the table, and let's not use the original column name, uncheck that, click OK. 
now you notice that I have my standard competition rank here. All I need to do now is just keep the fields that I want. Uh, select the first one, whatever you select first, and control click, it's going to put that one as the first column, and then the second column is going to be my quantity, the third column is going to be my standard rank. Right click, remove other columns, and now I have my standard competition rank. Click close and load, and it's going to outcome, the output is right here, one, two, two, and we're, we don't have our three. This is our standard competition rack, five, six, six. We have a, another set of duplicates here, and we have our duplicate ranks on the rank and rank EQ Excel functions. So this is how Power Query can do it for the standard competition ranking. Let's try the fractional ranking. Now, right click, edit, and we're going to remove that. Let's remove this, and under the group rows, oh, we'll remove this too. So now we have to group again, so I'll select on quantity, right click, and choose group by, click advance, The this one is going to be the fractional rank, I'll just call it frac rank, and what we're going to do is we're going to average the index, the values in the in index column, and ag add aggregation, this is going to be all, and again this is going to be all rows, click OK. And we have our table here, and we have our fractional ranking. So if I, if I click in the cell here, you'll notice that there's those two values there, and there's those two values there for that fractional rank 6.5 and 2.5, respectively. Click the double-headed arrow to expand that, uncheck that, click OK, and Control, and click on that column. That's the one I want to keep. I want to keep this column, and I want to keep this frank, frac rank column. Right-click, remove other columns close and load, it's going to update this, and I have my fractional rankings here. So that's how we do that one. How do we get on to the modified competition? So it's similar to the standard competition, but instead of using min, we're going to use max. Let's get back into this. Right click, edit, and uncheck that, and uncheck that. Let's go into the group rows, and so instead of changing the average, we're going to change it to min. Select that gear icon. I'm going to call this mod rank. And this is going to be the max now. And of course, we need to do the index. Click OK. We have our three and four. This is the max, right? So there's, there should be two threes here. If I click on the blank in the table, we have our two rows there. Click expand all here, or the, the double headed arrows. Uncheck that. Click OK. And now we do the same thing we had earlier. Uh, click that control click, control button, click on the quantity, click on the modified rank, right click, remove other columns, close and load. And now we have our modified rank, right? The one, three, three, four. So one, three, three, four. The duplicates have the maximum number there, three, three. It's missing the two. So the third, the last one, is our dense ranking. So we're not going to remove any of the ranking numbers. We're just going to duplicate that and uh, continue on. So let's see how we do this. Right click, edit, and this one's a little bit different. Uh, where Let's delete this index here. Right click, delete until end, and we're going to give our index at the end. What we want to do is we want to group the quantity first. So right click, group by, and we're going to group by, we'll call this one. We just have our all column here, and our all rows, click OK, and we've got our table here. And what we want to do is we're going to add an index column now at this point. Add index column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to expand this now, and once we expand this, this index, this, this two will duplicate, right? Because there's two rows here. So go one, two, two, and then three. So click on the double-headed arrow, click OK, and we have our expansion. Let's click that, control, and then select my quantity second, select my index third, right click, remove other columns, click on home, click close and load. And now we have our dense count. So right, we have our one, two, two, three. Our duplicates 
have the same number 2 as the rank. And we don't skip any numbers. That's the third number there. So that's the various ways that we can actually do ranking in Power Query. So why would we want to use Power Query to do ranking? Well, if it's a small table, and we're either doing ordinal, standard, or competition, or fractional ranking, we probably wouldn't use Power Query. But if it's a large table, it's something that, or it's something that we do on a recurring basis, or we want to try the other methods, the dense and competition, or we want to kind of get a combination and kind of test it out. Power Query is actually pretty handy because, as you saw there, it's actually not too hard to change some of the parameters and have it rank again. So that's how we can rank using Power Query. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.